Hello guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can create our first script and how we can execute our first hello world script. Now in this video, we will talk about comments and variables. So let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about comments because they are really easy to use and understand. So first of all, what are comments? Comments are the lines of code which are not executed by your script but are helpful to know some information about your uh, scripts. So how we can write comments? We can write comments with uh, a hash before a line of comments. So whenever you start a line of code with hash, then it will become a comment, right? So just write hash and then when I write this is a comment then this is a comment right and this will not be executed by your script but it will give you some information about your uh, you know script and then the second way of writing the comment is like this also so you write your code or line of code and then after that start a hash and then this is also a comment right so this will also be your comment and it will also not be executed right now these are the two most common ways of uh, using comments in your script there are some other ways but these are the most commonly used ways right now let's talk about variables so what are variables variables are the container which stores some data inside them right so uh, whenever you define a variable they store some kind of data it can be a string data or any number or any other kind of data right now in shell there are or any uh, unix system there are two types of variables one is the system variable and other are called the user defined variables okay so first is what are system variables so system variables are created and maintained by your linux or unix operating system so these are the some predefined variable which are defined by your operating system and the standard convention is they are uh, these are the variables which are defined in capital cases right so whenever you see some variable which are capital most likely they are the system variables now the other type of variables are user defined variables and these types of variables are created and maintained by the user like us right and these are type of variables are generally defined in lower cases but there is no uh, you know strict uh, rule that you need to write your variables in lower cases you can uh, even uh, write them in capital cases also so let's see what are uh, sys what are some system variable which are we can use uh, in scripts so for example i will write uh, uh, echo and then you write a dollar symbol before a variable and then there is a variable called for example bash and it will give you your uh, bash shell name right and uh, let's uh, just save your uh, script and let's run our script so i'm going to just run our script and what it gives this variable this variable gives us the name of the bash or shell right there are some more uh, variables for example echo bash version so i'm going to just write bash version and then it will give me the bash version right and let me just copy it a few times and then there is uh, one variable for example for your home then you use home this will give you the home directory and then uh, there is variable called pwd present working directory it will give you uh, whatever present working directory you are working in right and there are some uh, more variables uh, in uh, you know your operating systems but you just need to you know search them or just uh, search uh, system variables right so i'm going to just um, execute this script once again and what it gives first it gives me the bash name or shell name 
then it gives me the bash version so this is the version of bash i'm using and then it gives me the home directory and then it gives me the present working directory which is desktop so i'm working on my desktop directory you can see here also right now let's talk about the user defined variables right so how we can uh, define user defined so you can define uh, user defined variables really simply by giving a name so for example i want to create a variable called name so i will just write uh, name here and then i will just give a equal symbol here or equal sign here and then the value so for example mark okay and how you can use this variable you can use this variable with a dollar symbol before it so i will just write echo and then i will uh, just write dollar here and then the name of the variable so my variable name is name itself right so it will give me the name now with echo you can also write uh, for example you can just write the name is and then the variable name right so this will give me the name uh, whatever this name variable contains right and i will just uh, execute my script and it prints the name is mark right so your variable name can be used with your echo uh, you know uh, string with a dollar symbol before it right so in the same way you can uh, you know write some uh, text here also and it will, be, it will work fine so what we will write here is for example i will write our uh, shell name is this one right or our uh, shell version name is something like something else so our shell version name is this right or uh, for our home directory we can just write our home directory is home this is the system variable right or for uh, the present working directory or current working cu current working directory we can so write something like this so our current working directory is this right and it will also work fine so let's uh, execute our uh, script let me clear the terminal and then i will uh, just uh, execute my script and it gives me the output so first of all hello world and then our shell name is uh, this our shell version name is this our uh, directory is this home directory and then our current working directory is this one and then we have defined the user defined variable which is this one right now let's define uh, some other variables so let me define 10 and then uh, this can uh, be the variable right you can uh, think of uh, this as a variable and then i will uh, name uh, my variable as for example 10 well okay just random and then i will give you uh, the value uh, give it the value of 10 here right and let's uh, print this 10 here so value and then i'm going to just give the name of the variable right and let's see what happens and i'm going to execute the script and it gives me this kind of uh, result which is not uh, the result we are expecting right so the problem here is the variable name should not start with the number right so if your variable name starts with a number it will not be considered as a variable so what it prints here is this value here right and it uh, just disregards this uh, kind of um, uh, output because it's not considering uh, this value as a variable right and if you start your variable name with a normal letter small or capital it will be your variable so let's print once again and it prints the correct value of the variable right your uh, value can be or you can define a variable in capital also so something like value something like this also and it's totally fine and let's print it let me clear the terminal first of all and let's uh, execute our script right and it executes the same uh, results right
So in this way, uh, we have learned how we can use comments and variables with our script. So we have used uh, system variables also, and we have used uh, user defined variables also. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.